This lecture uh, is on a problem on fluid mechanics from the chapter of pressure and its measurement. Suppose there is one horizontal pipe and water is flowing through this pipe at a pressure which is more than the pressure of the atmospheric air means it is more than atmospheric pressure. So water is flowing through the pipe. Now, suppose on the top surface of the pipe, you make a small hole and insert a straight tube vertically inside the pipe. And some portion is outside the pipe. And you know, this type of tube is called piezometer tube. And say you have observed there is a rise of water inside the tube. Say rise is up to h, small h. The rise is up to small h. And this h is called what? You know this. This head is called. This h is called pressure head. Question is, calculate the pressure of water, and then mention whether that pressure, that calculated pressure of water is gauge pressure or absolute pressure. That is the question. That calculated pressure of water is gauge pressure or absolute pressure. You know that absolute pressure is equal to gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. That is absolute pressure. So absolute pressure is equal to what? Pressure due to liquid plus pressure due to air. If the liquid is in contact with the surrounding air, if it is not in contact with surrounding air, there, <coughs> then atmospheric pressure will not come into the picture. Okay. I think now the problem is clear to you. So, how you decide that pressure? First you calculate pressure, then you decide whether that pressure is absolute pressure or gauge pressure. So suppose, I am not going to draw this, that thing here. So this is the vertical tube. At the bottom of the tube, you consider one horizontal surface. And inside, water is flowing through the pipe, but inside the tube, water is static. This is not moving. So if you consider at the bottom of the tube one horizontal surface, or a horizontal plane, okay, like that. So water is exact that flowing water is exact exerting pressure on that plane surface in the upward direction. Okay. And inside the tube there is water, and the top surface of the water inside the piezometer tube that is in contact with the air because the top surface, uh, the top end of the piezometer tube is open to atmosphere. So here, suppose the inter internal cross-sectional area, inner cross-sectional area of the piezometer tube is capital A, capital A, that is the inner cross-sectional area. Rho is the density of water. Since water is flowing through the pipe, so we are assuming that rho is the density of water, small g is acceleration due to gravity. Okay. So at that surface, the surface which you are considering for the calculation, what is the weight of the water which is inside the piezometer tube? It is equal to volume of the water multiplied by density of the water that becomes mass multiplied by g, that is the weight. So that weight is acting in the vertically downward direction. Now what is the volume of water? It is equal to height h okay, multiplied by the cross-sectional area a. So h multiplied by a becomes volume multiplied by density rho becomes mass multiplied by g becomes weight. So that is the weight of the liquid. But air is there again. So, what is the atmospheric pressure? Let us assume it to be P suffix ATM. ATM for atmosphere. So, atmospheric pressure is P ATM 
cross sectional area was what a capital a so force due to air is equal to p atm multiplied by that capital a so total downward force force is how much it is p atm into a plus h into a into rho into g that is the total force in the vertically downward direction and suppose now the pressure of the flowing water is p pressure of the flowing water is p so how much pressure is being applied by that flowing water in the upward direction it is equal to p multiplied by the cross sectional area of the tube so p multiplied by a so this is the total upward force now you since the water is in a static condition inside the piezometer tube therefore this p into a is equal to that pta p atm into a plus h a rho g so capital a is present everywhere you divide both side of the equation by capital a so in the left hand side what is there that is p in the right hand side first term is p atm and the second term is h rho g so now you have got p is equal to p atm plus h rho g h rho g is what that is pressure due to liquid only that is the h rho g so that is the gauge pressure so so now the question is solved total pressure is equal to pressure of the flowing water is equal to which which appears in the left hand side that is denoted by p that is equal to p atm plus h rho g now you put the value of h which you have observed in the piezometer tube multiplied by the density of water which is 1000 kg per cubic meter multiplied by g which is equal to 9.81 meter per second square and you know the value of p atm so this way you will get the total pressure and just by observing the form of the equation p is equal to p atm plus some other pressure so that other pressure is gauge pressure okay so p atm plus gauge pressure makes absolute pressure so in the left hand side that p is equal to absolute pressure okay so this was the solution of the given problem the problem was very easy still i thought that i should explain to you for few students they face difficulties in analyzing such problems so this lecture is for those students okay thank you